little longer, but. Were you? Well, how long was the banana total? Do you remember? An hour and a half or something. It was the longest endurance. I thought, right? Yeah, the banana was the longest endurance because Portia was holding on forever. I mean, you definitely are the endurance queen. Yeah, right. I did. We, I'm okay, but... We've had four endurance challenges. You competed in three of them and won all three. True, but I only competed in two of them with six people. I don't know. Does it... I would like to... I think it would be interesting to see against... Uh, Danielle. But. Well, you beat Danielle in the banana. Uh. And she said she said she was getting sick. I thought she was looking pretty good, but you were not moving. No, I wasn't at all. moving. You were. Yeah. You were like sleeping on the banana. Yeah. Which that's when I really knew. I was like. When I saw Dick, you, and Danielle all still up there and not moving anywhere, I was like, it's going to be a long summer. <laughs> but, hey, look how it turned out. Yeah. I was thinking about it again, too. Just, I don't know why I'm letting Kalia bother me so much. Oh, yeah. Because she just... <sighs> play like an all-star, not like a fan. Um, I... I think I played a pretty good game. What does uh, fan play like? Cause... Well, because I was just, you know, in awe of you guys. But, I, I mean, yes, I was the first minute of the first day. And then I realized it's game on with you guys. And then I realized that Listen. the people that I aligned with were fucking more. Malia thought that she made this huge... They all think that they made this huge, big, game-changing move when they got Jeff out. Right. That, obviously, that was like an obvious game. It right. was like not this huge... They think... Danielle thinks she made this huge game-changing move when she got out Brendan. It was... Like, I just don't think... I don't agree with that. I think that when you make moves like that, that early in the game, like getting out Brendan or getting that out... Puts, that puts a bigger target on you. On so. you, yeah. If they would have kept... I was just talking to Portia about it. I'm like, if they would have kept Brendan in the house, he would have never made it this far because he would have been a target every single week. Right. And eventually he would have gone. Eventually he would have gone. And I'm like, the, I'm like, Danielle didn't make a big move by getting Brendan out week four. That was not a big move. And I'm like, and furthermore, getting when Clea got out Jeff in the fast forward, yeah, I think it was a big move, but it wasn't like a huge game-changing move like she thinks it was. Well, look, because she thought by her doing that, she, Danielle's gone, Jeff's gone, now she has the power. Right, she thought she, she was... She is king of this house and yeah. running so then this when house. I, so then when I got... <laughs> Rid of Kalia, was that the biggest game of the game? Yeah, it was. Was it a game? I mean, I don't think, I don't agree with that at all. I think that that was an obvious move. Right. I mean, you could have gotten rid of Portia or Kalia. Yeah. And, you know, at that time, honestly, I mean, Kalia did have a good argument as playing a good game, so you got out a strong player. Yeah. Well, and I thought of it like, okay, it's not, um, it's not the big of a move when getting rid of Kalia gets rid of someone that is not on my side at all. Right. Like Jeff is not on Kalia's side at all. I mean, I still gotta, I still say her, Kalia's worst move was not putting me up against you. No, oh, for sure. Because, I mean, I thought about it again this morning. Luan, Danielle, Portia. Those are the only three votes that she needed for me to stay and then she could have broken the tie with you. Even if she didn't have Jeff, Jordan, or She didn't Shelley. want to break the tie. But at that point in the game... she didn't want to break... Like, she, she was didn't, stressing she was, that. Th at that point in the game, Kalia was too... Like, she was too... That's why... And I'm going to use that argument over and over again. I convinced them, and I don't care who says Lawan went up as a pawn. I don't care if Shelly says volunteered. they convinced him. He volunteered, whatever. Like, I was still up in that room for three hours talking to Kalia about competitors and there's no need for a competitor to go I'll always be a target I still had to make her feel comfortable right so I think that that contributed to it I think the twist contributed to it and I think that
the fact that she just didn't want to break a tie and Lawan was the easy way out contributed to yeah, it. Yeah, no, she, she so I think the it easy was way out. She the easy way out, which makes her not a good game player. The fact that I was up there convincing her that I wouldn't come after her directly made her, you know, feel more comfortable about it. And then the fact that um, there was a twist that week made her feel more comfortable about it because she was thinking, like, if there's a twist and I come back, it, she's fucked, like... So, that's why I mean, she can say what she wants, but that night after we sat in the Roy G. Biv for like two hours talking about how to, what, well, they kept saying, you know, like, are we on board? Are these the three votes? Are these the three votes? Adam, Portia, and Danny, are these the three votes uh, to keep Luan and then she'll break the tie? And then when I came out here with her, she was like, I really don't, if I got to break the tie, I really don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And then she told me later that. Now, she was just testing me to see, like, no. what I would say. You know why she didn't know what to do? It's the same reason she used the same thing I said to her in the speech about respecting people that have played this game. The right. same reason, because she's scared. She was scared of me. That was... She didn't she want... She, she didn't like, she want... Didn't want she, didn't want she didn't want to be the tie-breaking vote. She didn't want to be the tie-breaking vote to vote me out and then me and come then back in the house. And then you come back exactly. and come after her. So right. She was scared. She knew she fucked up by, make, by putting you and Jeff up. Yep. She tried to backtrack... So, you know, like, making making the right move at the right time is more important than making a big move. Right, I agree. Just making a big move is not, you know, again, Danielle tried to make a big move way too early. Yeah. Kalia tried to make a big move way too early. You know, you don't play this game for a week. You play this game for the long term. Right. I agree. And completely. All, all the moves that I made or all the moves I didn't make were based on long term. Yeah. And Kalia... I don't know. She just... It's so funny, too. Remember what uh, Jordan was saying about the ripple effect? How everybody that went out... Yeah. Like, that's what it was. It's true. You know, Jeff well, wanted Danielle out. Danielle left. Jeff went next. Kalia went she next. No, Shelly went next because Shelly yeah. was the one trying to get Jeff out. So Shelly went next. Kalia tried to get, you know, play all of us. She and she next. wanted Jeff out, yeah. Well, I'll say that... And Jordan, Jordan wanted Kalia out, even though she didn't make that vote. But she she knew, too. Like, And I respect Jordan for that. I mean, Jordan could have very easily just voted Kalia out, but she kept her word. And I, I mean, she did put the onus on you to vote out Kalia, but it was that was the group decision, was Kalia was going. Well, see, and that's why I... I understand why Jordan thinks she needs to keep her word, but if she agreed, like if she agreed to get out Kalia, I think that that was stupid. And it eventually got Jordan out of the house. Right. Because. But do you, do you think Portia would have voted you out if Jordan voted Kalia out? Or do you think Jordan, uh, Portia would have still voted um, Jordan? I think Jordan still would have voted. Portia would still voted Jordan out? I think so. I don't know. I, I think her voting out Jordan was made easier because Jordan didn't vote for her, but I still think that she would have kept you over Jordan. I mean, the argument was that Jordan had already won this game. Yeah. Let someone else have a chance to win. And she also knew that if, I knew for a fact that, well, she thought for a fact that I would take Jordan in, yeah. the, in the end over Portia, so. I know, made, that's she, the main reason why. Right, and that was, you know, given the situation. I want to work out, but it's really hot. Oh, they did give us a bar back, but they didn't give us the fucking I know. clips. That's okay, we don't need it. I can still do my curls. The way um... Shoulders and stuff. I just can't do. Just can't do my chest. But yeah, that's a. I mean, I think that that's why Portia did that because. And honestly, like you know, between the the three of us, whoever wins, you know, the decision to who to take. I mean, I think it's a crapshoot any which way. I think so too. So well, I think you are gonna beat anyone. Do I don't know. Think so? I think. Well. 
I think that, I think you would beat me. I think that with Portia, it is kind of like, because she has Danielle and Kalia, for sure, guaranteed. And then she has Shelly, probably, I would guess. But I don't know. Like, we don't know. Shelly over me. I, I mean, Shelly would vote for her over me. That That's the one that it I really It just depends, though, like, if Shelly is BFF with Danielle and, and Kalia and Jury. And I'm, if like, she is, because you know that her and Jeff aren't going to be hanging out in Jury because she backstabbed Jeff. So Jeff won't be. Rachel. Your turn. Please go to the diary. Yay, diary room fun. They didn't put the uh, microphones back over the uh, pool. 